Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. Do you want to know how to retrieve data from the database and manipulate that data or add new data? Then this is the video series which you are going to find it useful. So in this video, in this specific video, we will be discussing about how to retrieve data from the database. Okay, where we will discuss about the, these functions like get, find, next and is empty so i'll be writing the code and I'll also i'll tell you what is the difference between get and find when to use it okay so in uh, further videos like after this we will be understanding about sorting and filtering the data add or modify or delete the data in the al using a different field functions controlling the database locking behavior etc etc so let us start so before i proceed i would like to tell you that this is my blog so you can see various information about um about power apps power automate and power business central everything i have given in a written format where you can also try this quiz as well okay so it's a very basic quiz if you really like this quiz please leave a comment and like symbol so that i can create more quizzes if you want it so the next thing is what this is my uh, channel where you can find the members only video here where I have given uh, all these videos which are I'm planning to publish related to technical and functional series okay which are very useful for them so you can see that these are member only video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you join as a member okay you will definitely get exclusive access to the documents which I am explaining in all the all the videos and also you can find the exclusive videos um, discussion you can directly send a mail to me and ask me like uh, related to the coding queries related to co code and anything okay so anything related to business center so now let us directly start understanding about how to retrieve the data in the database okay so you can use few functions to retrieve the data from the database okay so you can use get function find function inside find we have find first find last find set okay and we have next function and finally we have is empty function so let us see everything one by one okay for that i'm just going to create a simple page here okay uh, i'm creating a page here okay and this page will be to retrieve the data retrieve data i'm not going to use any source table here so i'm just deleting the source table okay and also i'm not going to use this layout so i'm just deleting this layout i want to use the customer uh, uh, table okay so i'm going to create a customer record here record customer okay i'm just going to make this record so first let us understand the get function so i'm going to name this action as a get function okay so the get function actually retrieves a record based on the primary key okay it you have to tell what is the primary key okay based on the primary key so if your table has a primary key in one field you need to provide one parameter to get the function got it so the primary key is a combined sometimes we will be providing the primary key as a combination of multiple keys right so uh, you need to provide them in the order of the primary key definition so how you have defined the primary key so based on that order you have to give okay so let us just write the simple code here i'm just going to write a uh, on action so what i'll be using is customer dot get get 10,000 okay so this is it will find this is the primary key I'm passing this as a primary key this is a primary key which I have declared in the which is declared in the customer table itself so if customer dot uh, this is what like 10,000 I have given here like 10,000 okay so you can either give like that or else okay so I'm just giving customer dot get so it is getting the value here okay just getting the value so it is just i'm just writing the statement as well okay so here i'm just telling you like how what it is creating so what happened is here is a record with a primary key 10,000 okay from a table from the customer table is actually retrieved here in this okay retrieving the record with the 
primary key 10,000 okay because the primary key of the customer table is a type of code actually the primary key is code type okay you need to specify the value as a string that is why I have given here as a string if it is a number you have you should not use this single quotation okay so the best way you can use the uh, get function is using the condition okay if it is found then you can print some message okay and this is just it is retrieving the record and here it is getting the data if this is found then it will display the a message if it is not found then it will display that the customer not found okay got it so this is about get function now let us go to the find function so i'm just got to going to write find function application area is equal to or trigger on on action and i don't want any variable here so what is the find function so actually we have uh, two derived functions in the find function one is find first and find last okay so in some standard code we will be using find hyphen okay we will be using find and inside that we will be giving a wild card here okay or else sometimes you will be using plus i will also tell you what is this okay i'll tell you what is this find hyphen so this let us just write the code first and then i'll explain it here i'll explain it to you okay so what i'll be writing here is what i'm going to write the code for the find so customer dot find find off so here i'm just giving a single quotes hyphen and i'm closing it okay so what happens here is what I'm just printing a message where it is it is finding the customer where you can just get the okay I'm fetching the customer name so what it will do is what if I give hyphen okay it is like it will retrieve the first record in the business central okay it will print the first record so what I'll be doing this is this is like select star from customer okay where is i'm just typing i'm going to type here customer dot find plus okay if this is it it will also give me some uh, message here okay so what is this plus it will be like it will select the customer name in the descending order okay this is like what this is like selecting the customer name this is like if you know uh, sql then you can relate it like select star from customer order by okay order by number dot descending okay it will make it like in a descending order okay whereas customer dot find first it's a method okay if i give customer dot find first then what it will do it will select the top one customer from the so it this is like select top one uh, customer top one from customer okay that is the top first that is first record top first record whereas if i give customer dot find last then it is like selecting the selecting the top one star from the that is the bottom customer which is customer order by descending got it so this is how basically we will be using the find if you wanted to retrieve all the customer for example if i wanted to retrieve all the customer then i will be using what find set okay this is what like select start from customer this is like select star from the customer okay this is what the difference between find so this uh, whenever if you give any wild card inside the find that is any any um, characters inside the file which means that you are filtering the record so if, uh, other than this you can give is equal to which means that you are trying to match something okay okay so like that you can use some other relational operator as well 
okay so let us go to the next one which is next statement okay i'm just going to create an another action for the next statement where next function okay and inside the next function i'll be creating application area is equal to all t trigger and on what on uh, on validate on action and i'm just deleting this where i'm going to write the uh, function for the next step. okay so customer dot find set okay customer dot find set which will find the complete customer i'm just using a repeat statement okay uh, and where you can write it like message dot customer name until customer dot next is equal to zero where it will find what is the next statement which is used to get the next record in a record set okay and if you would use the next statement in the repeat until statement so what it will uh, we will be using the next in the repeat until statement only because you know it will find if you wanted to find the entire set of uh, records like a database you want to you want to find the entire set of record the next statement optionally has one parameter that defines how many steps you want to go forward okay so it will just go uh, take you forward and it will just give you like what is the last record until it finds the last record it will go and search for it okay so this is about the next function and finally we'll be talking about was is empty <laughs> is empty function you can see that um application area is equal to all and tree trigger on action and you can delete this and we can write the begin statement so what we'll be writing it here so in the is empty statement we can find whether the record is empty or is any any uh, data is available over there so probably we have to use it inside the if statement okay if customer dot is empty okay customer dot is empty is a function so i have to end up with the uh, okay then message no records in the table else records found is empty uh, if customer not, then no records in the table else records are present in the table okay or records found in the table okay so these are the various things which you can use it in the um in the to, to in order to retrieve the data from the database so in the next video we will be probably discussing about the performance on sql server so how the al database methods uh, that is methods and performance on the sql server and in this complete series you know you will be understanding like other various options to manipulate the data like sorting and filtering the data add and modify the data use different fields and functions in the data everything so now let's just uh, execute this and see how it really works so now you can see that you have an action so there is a progress window sorry so it's opening like a progress window so we have to check for the retrieve data right okay okay so retrieve data where we can find all the functions which we have given so here yes it's a get function so you can see that it is getting the value of 30000 which is available okay so the next one is the find function so modified by okay sorry okay find function next function because the data is like that okay so the data which is <laughs> entered in my um, table is like that because since it's a find function it is showing the customer name which is modified so if you have changed this no to the email id so you can probably find it so you can find it all these details here okay and finally go to the is empty records are present in the table okay so whatever the data which you are uh, fetching it from here it will be fine okay so based on that you have to connect it 
so this is how these functions will work so we will probably look into the next type of functions and i'll also discuss about the difference between the get and the find function in the next video so it will be easy for you to uh, understand and use how to where where and when to use the get functions thank you take care and bye